I just quickly want to clear some things up. Okay? Um, my dad wasn't there for me for 10 years. So one, he wasn't there for 10 years in my life until I was, you know, like he didn't come back in my life until I was 15. Um, and he was out of my life when I was the age of five. So my dad wasn't financially or emotionally there for me for all of that time, actually. Um, so I think for me personally, that would, if I was a parent who was never in my child's life, I would try to make up for the moments that I wasn't. I would try to be as mothering and nurturing and everything that they need to be because I wasn't able to provide that to them at a young age. I would. But me and my father are completely different people. And maybe you in the same boat as my dad, where you just feel like, well, you can come back after all of that time and I'm just supposed to naturally love you and naturally be there for you, even though my family, like me, myself, I was homeless. My family's still homeless. My mom still doesn't have a house because he sold the house from my mother that we were all living in. And I was young and my mom spent years and years and years fighting for it. That's what I'm mad at him for. That's where I think he's an asshole. Also an asshole because um, I, tr I have tried to build like a relationship with him and it's always me driving out to see him me driving from orange county from pomona like dri so san bernardino driving to the valley two to three hours constantly for him constantly to keep up that relationship and my father wasn't able to do that all for me he's only visited me i think three to four times in my four years of going to college. And the one day that he did come out to see me, it was actually that conversation that happened. He drove out to Orange County where I was living with my boyfriend. And he said that, that the reason why he doesn't see me, the reason why he can't put in all of that, all of this energy to actually be a father and not just pretend to be for the internet is because he's an actor and he doesn't have a normal job like other dads. And that right there to me sounds like bullshit and excuses and slight narcissism. And that's what I have a problem with. It's always said with family drama, family business got to come to the internet. Now the whole world knows. So the latest person to speak out about their father is Kel Mitchell's daughter. She's 21 years old. And in the video, she said for 10 whole years, he hasn't been in her life. And she feel like as a parent, if you haven't been in my life for 10 years, you should make that time up. And according to her, his excuse was, oh, I'm an actor. You know, I don't have a regular life. I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. I can't give you that time. But that's a goddamn lie. Because if you care about somebody, especially your child, you make the time. And I don't know where the situation is now, but I'm assuming he got a new family and he spends primarily most of his time with the new family. That's the same thing with Brian McKnight. Brian McKnight kids speaking out saying, oh, my dad ain't shit. My dad never did nothing for us. But he met this white girl and she already had kids. And he, he showered her kids with cars and gifts and take pictures with the family. But as far as his biological kids, he don't do shit for them according to the kid. So I'm assuming it's the same thing here, but you haven't heard nothing from his other kids speaking out, but maybe they don't want to bring the family drama to the internet. But they probably feel the same way. Who knows? But at the end of the day, this is something that they need to fix. They need to sit down and talk. I feel like communication, if y'all are all mature, level-headed, communication can solve 99% of problems. But people just don't want to put in that work, whether they feel like it's too much or they're not obligated. Because she's 21. She's a grown woman. She shouldn't need his money. It would be nice to have something, but she shouldn't need it. But as far as this time spending with your dad, it don't matter how old you is. You always need to spend time with your dad. So I don't know what's the truth, but they need to reconcile, man. What y'all think about this, your boy B? Make sure you like, subscribe. Mm -hmm.